are you sometimes wondering whether to use a singular verb or a plural verb with certain nouns uh, for example data or headquarters are you unsure what type of verb to use with indefinite pronouns like everybody or someone then join me in this lesson hello everyone today we are going to look at subject verb concord rule 1 the verb and the subject must agree in number this means that if the subject is singular the verb should be singular and if the subject is plural the verb should also be plural let us look at some examples he plays football he is a third person singular subject and has taken a singular verb plays they play football they is a third person plural subject and has taken a plural verb play children it is generally observed that singular verbs have an s added to it which is removed in their plural form something exactly opposite to what applies in subject i think you may not be getting me hence let us look at our next example the car looks expensive here car is a singular subject without s and it has taken a singular verb looks which has an s right the cars look expensive here cars is a plural subject with an s added to it and it has taken a plural verb look which has lost its s so i hope now things are clear to you now what if the subject is a i or a you they are singular subjects but they are not going to use a singular verb form right yes but they are an exception to rule subject verb agreement rules are different when your subject is in the third person singular so that is when your subject is a he she or it the subjects i and you are different even though they are singular pronouns they take the plural form of the verb and you just need to remember that let us look at a few examples i like to go swimming she likes to go swimming both of their subjects are singular but the verb forms are different rule 2 now if there is an auxiliary verb or helping verb in your sentence like do does in the simple tense or am is our was were in the continuous tense or have has in the perfect tense then the auxiliary verb becomes the agreeing verb the verb that agrees with the subject let us understand it with the help of a few examples the parrots don't want the chilies in the sentence parrots is a plural subject and hence has taken a plural auxiliary verb don't the parrot doesn't want the chilies here you can see parrot is singular subject and hence has taken singular auxiliary verb doesn't he is going to the beach he is third person singular and hence has taken 
singular verb is we are going to the beach we is first person plural subject and hence has taken plural verb are rule 3 the verbs following the modal verbs like may could will must should is never in the s form it is always in the infinitive form now children what is infinitive form it is the base form or the original form of the verb now let us understand it with the help of few examples my friends might come my friend might come in both the sentences there is no change in the verb even if the subject changes in form this is because you have a modal might before the verb come let us look at one more example you should come he should come here again you see that you is second person pronoun that generally takes a plural verb and he is a third person singular subject that takes singular verb but there is no change in the verb over here this is because the modal should is preceding the verb come rule 4 indefinite pronouns like everybody nobody anybody someone usually takes singular verbs for example everybody wants to be loved nobody likes to be left out over here i am sure looking at the s added with the verbs you are sure to make out that they are singular verbs rule 5 subjects that are joined by and in a sentence use a plural verb but when the subjects refer to the same person or thing the verb must be singular let us understand with the help of few examples radha and meera are coming home my friend and guide is coming home in the first sentence we find two people radha and meera so the subject becomes plural thereby takes a plural verb are in the second sentence the friend and the guide is the same person hence the subject is singular and hence takes a singular verb is let us look at one more example 2 and 2 make 4 bread and butter makes a good breakfast it is the same rule applicable in these sentences 2 and 2 are two separate twos hence plural subject taking the plural verb make whereas in the second sentence the bread and butter is going to become one with butter over the bread hence the subject becomes singular thereby taking a singular verb makes rule 6 the number of the subject whether singular or plural will not change due to words or phrases in between the subject and the verb to understand this rule better let us look at some examples one of the glasses is empty in this sentence one is our subject not glasses and since one is singular so our verb is also 
singular that is is look at the next sentence the bouquet of red roses smells so sweet we all know that bouquet is a collective noun and collective noun are considered to be singular and in this sentence bouquet is our subject and not red roses and since bouquet is singular our verb is also singular that is smells rule 7 the verb in a sentence containing or either or neither nor agrees with the noun or pronoun closest to it let us understand this rule with few examples neither the shoes nor the bag matches the dress here bag is the closest to the verb since bag is a singular subject it has taken a singular verb matches let us look at the next sentence neither the bag nor the shoes match the dress here shoes is closest to the verb as shoes is a plural subject it has taken the plural verb match rule 8 when the subject is followed by words such as as well as along with besides together with etc ignore them and use a singular verb if the subject is singular to understand the rule better let us look at few examples manish as well as his dog is expected shortly pratik along with his brother is going to school rajesh to get friends is present no one besides sonu knows the secret as you can see in all the examples we have tried to focus on the subject and get the verb agree to the subject rule 9 in sentences that begin with here or there the true subject usually follows the verb for example here are the chocolates there is a big puddle on the road in both these sentences you can see that the verb appears in the sentence before the subject rule 10 in sentences that include sums of money periods of time or distances etc use singular verbs for example 500 rupees is a high price to pay 62 years is the minimum age of retirement 10 kilometers is too far to walk so children we can see that in all these sentences even if the denominations are plural the verb remains singular rule 11 in the case of words such as a lot of all some etc in a sentence pay attention to the noun after of if the noun after of is singular then use a singular verb if plural use a plural verb for example all of the cake is gone all of the cakes are gone a lot of the cake is gone a lot of the cakes 
are gone. Some of the cake is gone. Some of the cakes are gone. In all the examples, we see that the verb tries to look at the noun of the sentence and agree with it. Rule 12. In the case of collective nouns such as crew, jury, team, group, class, family, crowd, in a sentence, the verb can be singular or plural depending on their use in the sentence. For example, the team is organizing the event. The team are meeting today. The teams are meeting today. In the first sentence, team refers to one unit and hence a singular subject. Taking a singular verb is. In the second sentence, we see that the word team refers to individual members of the team. So, the subject is plural and hence taking a plural verb are. In the third sentence, we are talking of different teams. So, again, our subject is plural, thereby taking a plural verb are. Rule 13. Nouns such as mathematics, civics, news, etc. while plural in form are singular in meaning and use a singular verb. Example, mathematics is very difficult for some people. The news is very saddening. Rule 14. In sentences that express a wish, request or contrary to fact, the word were is used instead of was. For example, I wish my sister were here. Aditya requested that she raise her glass. Rule 15. Uncountable nouns take a singular verb. For example, the furniture is comfortable. Your luggage is heavy. The stationery is damaged. Rule 16. Subjects that are gerunds use singular verb. For example, playing football is fun. Waiting for the bus is annoying. That was exhausting, wasn't it children? I am sure that some of this lesson was a good revision for you. But perhaps you learned a few new things about subject verb agreement too. I hope so. Do watch the video again and again until the rules sink in. Thank you.